everyone. Uh, my name is Rebecca Vedavati and I'll be reading a poem uh, titled On Bathing uh, for Red River Press. Uh, this is a poem I wrote and was uh, pu published by MANA, the Sejura Collective's online literary journal. On Bathing Month 1 She lies between stretched legs the warmth she was born from. This time, eager to escape it, communicating in waves as I slowly pour warm water over her, coating her oil skin with bran flour. Her little arms resist. We talk in a language, crying, cooing, clucking. It sounds a lot like Tamil, not the kind Periyar spoke, our conversations began early on. Now she responds in English. At five. Splash, splash, splash. It feels like I'm bathing with clothes on. She puts on soap by herself. I watch, I play with the soap bubbles. She manages to rub on me. She has a mole on her back. I look away for a moment. She rubs her soapy hands into her big fish eyes. There is crying, tickling, toddling. She waits for me to wrap her in a towel. Sometimes we pretend the towel is a sari. We sing, Amna Kundi Doria, Chenna Patnam Poria. She is aware of her body. At 12, she stands in front of the bathroom mirror runs her fingers under her armpits. Below her belly, she finds a liquid mango flowing from her thighs. Muddy, it smells like iron. Crying, clutching, clenching. She leaves her underwear on the bed for someone to find. It takes days for someone to tell her She's not dying. Act 23. I'm always running late. Always have to be someplace. Every other friend seems to have the temporal luxury of a long hot bath. They come out sounding, singing, smelling like coconut milk and chia butter. I come out soapy leaving clumps of hair in the drain, thinking about you. Your hands and I, we have an unfinished conversation. At 54, she takes the shortest bath. In she goes, clean she comes. That's that. She's perfected the art of cleaning, cleansing, clarifying her body with no excessive interest in it. She is open to answering questions through the bathroom door. At 92, a plastic chair holds her wrinkled body. The water is boiling hot. The steam makes me sweat. Her skin is a series of paper folds. I gently rub the soap under her fallen dress. Her herniated belly spills. She looks at me with dentured teeth. We don't talk. I pour three buckets of steaming hot water onto her frail frame. There is the ritual of the powder under her armpits and between her legs. After she is tired and falls asleep, still living, living, living. Thank you.